Hey, this is Mike, and it's October 7th. This is the Aftermarket Report, and I want to talk to you about a stock that I think may not exactly be on your radar, but you should definitely look at it because I think Ford is going to more than double in the next 12 months, and I am going to show you why. So first, you should look at sort of the technical look at Ford. It had a really nice sort of this recovery, and it was headed back over the 723 level, and then we had a big dip because of Trump tweeting out that he's not going to negotiate with Pelosi on stimulus. And then a couple of hours later, he started negotiating with Pelosi on stimulus uh, by tweeting that he would sign a $1,200 standalone bill. Anyway, from a technical standpoint, Ford actually looks pretty good today, notwithstanding. I think we are going to get a recovery and all the stocks that pull back will begin to pull up again. However, I do think from a technical standpoint, you see this, it's starting to rise up, probably not as dramatically as like the EV stocks, but from a technical standpoint, it's starting to get better and better. That's the first thing. The second thing is Ford um, is not paying its dividend, which is actually a good move because they're saving over $300 million a quarter. And when you have a company with a $27 billion market cap, the fact that it can save $1.2 billion a year is actually a good move. And people are just not expecting the stock to pay dividends anyway. So from a couple of positions there, I think Ford is in a really good position to outperform. But here's the reason why I believe that the stock will um, double over the next 12 months. And that is because of three specific product launches that it's going to have over the next 12 months. The first is it's they're bringing back the Ford Bronco after a 23-year hiatus. They're bringing back um, the Ford Bronco and then the Bronco Sport. These are both designed to be off-road SUVs, which are really popular. And the thing with off-road SUVs is that you really have two big choices out there. You have the Wrangler, which is the really popular sort of open SUV, has open roof and everything. It's, it's iconic. People who drive Wranglers, they drive them forever. They love the Wrangler. And then kind of on the other side of the spectrum, you have the Toyota 4Runner, which is more, I think, if you want something a little more practical, um, you could drive that one off-road. While there are other off-road SUVs, those are the, the sort of the two big ones. The Ford Bronco is going to be the third one, and I think the Ford Bronco is going to win over a lot of people who have problems with both the Wrangler and with the 4Runner. And the two big problems with the Wrangler and the 4Runner is that they don't change the platforms on those vehicles. And so they don't ride very comfortably. They're not practical in a sense of like driving comfort. And they're not really up to date with their tech. And that's because people just like the fact that for the in the case of the Toyota 4Runner, it lasts forever. You can buy a 4Runner and you can put 200, 300,000 miles on it, drive it hard and it'll be fine. With the Wrangler... It's just, it has a very unique, iconic look. People are not buying it because of the ride comfort or because of the interior tech. So that leaves a huge opportunity for people who want a capable off-road vehicle that rides comfortably, has a lot of tech, and it's affordable. So it gives you almost like a, a Land Rover um, type of experience without the Land Rover prices. Now, you can get the Bronco as a mid-size vehicle, and the Bronco also has an open roof. You can get it with an open roof, which would really make it um, a great choice for people who may be looking at the Wrangler. Um, also, they have the Bronco Sport, which is a smaller version of the Bronco, and that makes it more affordable. And as you can see, I've been reading the reviews on the Bronco. Everybody says it's awesome. It looks great inside and out. I think Ford is going to sell Every Bronco that they make, they're going to sell every Bronco Sport that they make. This vehicle is going to be a huge seller. It's also going to be available in a lot of different configurations. So people have no problem finding the, the Ford Bronco that they want, and it's going to be priced really well. That's story number one. Story number two is that Ford is also coming out with their next generation F-150, the F-150 is the world's best-selling pickup truck. And it is a huge, it's the, it's the single cash cow for Ford. 
how how popular selling is the Ford F-150? In 2020 was the last production year of the old model, uh, the Ford F-150, and they actually saw rising sales in the 2020 F-150, the old truck, the truck that's going out. Ford saw a 3% rise in sales. That never happens. That never happens to a vehicle that's in the last year of its production cycle. So the fact that the F-150 in 2020, a year when you had a pandemic, when you had the worst possible market for new vehicles, the Ford F-150, its old generation going out of production saw rising sales. The 2021 F-150 looks really nice. It doesn't, it's not like a radical change from the previous generation. And they're going to sell just a ton of these vehicles. And one of the reasons why is the Ford F-150 gets a lot of sales from both the consumer side and the business side. If you have a business, if you're a tradesperson, you're going to buy an F-150. If you have a, uh, a truck or a trailer that you want to tow, you're going to buy an F-150. If you just like driving a truck, you're going to buy an F-150. F-150s just sell like gangbusters. And when you look at the um, the higher trim levels of the F-150, like the platinum level, that sells for like $80,000. The margin, the margins on trucks are higher than the margins on cars, but the margins on the luxury trucks, like the F-150 Platinums, which top out $80,000, like literally the margins on those trucks are like Porsche level big. So Ford is just going to continue to do really well. This is going to be a huge seller. Finally, when it comes to new vehicles, we have to talk about <clears throat> the... Um, Ford Mustang Mach-E. <clears throat> now, I think the Mustang Mach-E is going to be a huge surprise. That <clears throat> That's because Ford um, Mustang, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, is selling really well across the entire country. Um, they're seeing sales in states that, they, that you don't see a lot of sales for electric vehicles. And that's a good sign because I think Ford is going to be able to get this Mo Mustang Mach-E to sell in parts of the country where you're not seeing strong EV sales. That's going to be really good for the Ford brand and for this Mach-E. It looks really great. I think in some respects, it looks better than the Tesla SUVs. Even though the Tesla SUVs are incredible performers, the Mustang Mach-E just looks really great. The um, 0 to 60 time is in the mid three seconds. Um, I think that's competitive with the Model Y. And like I said, it looks great. It's got really great range. You look inside, it has the sort of that minimalist look that the Teslas have. So I think they're going to have no problem selling these. And also, um, Ford has been lowering prices on this, not because they're not selling them, but they just want to stay competitive with Tesla. They, go, they feel like they can go, go head to head with Tesla with the Mach-E. And I think they'll do it. I think there are people who... You know, the thing about Teslas is they're very polarizing. People love them or people are kind of turned off by the Tesla, like the people who drive them and the personality of them. And I think the Mach-E allows you to drive a high-performance EV SUV. And if you have a problem with Tesla, you can buy the Ford. So taking, they have, in, you know, Ford has an incredible model lineup for 2021. And then you also want to add to the fact that um, the Ford stock is probably, it's, it's just, it, it's been rising well, but it doesn't get the hype that like the EV stocks are getting. And because of that, it's going to catch a lot of people off guard and it's going to be a stock that's just going to surprise people. It's only at $7. So you can do covered calls on Ford. You can do cash secure puts on Ford. You can just buy the stock outright. I think it's, it's because it's going to, it's going to catch people off guard. It has three strong products for 2021. I do think we're going to see after the second wave um, by the summer of 2021, I think we'll see a general recovery in the pandemic. We we'll, we may see a vaccine starting to roll out and sales across the board for vehicles pick up. And Ford's just going to be a big winner. So if you're looking for a stock that's under $10 that could possibly double in the next 12 months, definitely take a look at Ford. I'm taking a look at Ford. I'm buying Ford. I like this stock. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was valuable for you. If, if it was, please be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'll be coming out with videos before market opens, and I'm going to try to do some uh, market uh, special reports like after the market closes. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye.